Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. We give you the honor. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray Glory for the anointing the upon your daughter this morning, Lord. Lord. We ask you that you will bless her, God. Let your word, hallelujah, the bless Jesus, the name of Jesus. Lord. Glory to God. Let the word be a lamp. Oh God, unto our path, unto her God this morning. Let the word come at fire this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, Lord. Father God, I pray that the power, hallelujah, of the word this morning, mighty God, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God this morning. The word will come with power this morning and with clarity. Bless the heart of your people, mighty God. Hallelujah. Father God, let your will be done again. Let your kingdom come to us this morning. As we listen on this morning, Lord God, we listen and we receive your word as you anoint your servant, Lord. Father God, remember, Lord God, Pastor Courtney, Lord God, in his absence right now. Lord God, be with him, Lord God. Cover him, Lord. Celebrating his birthday, Lord God. Take care of him, Lord God Almighty, and have your way in his life. Bless us, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome, welcome, amen. everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. Those on YouTube this morning, we welcome you also. Hallelujah. And at this time, I turn right over to you, Pastor Graham. You are now. Yes, Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God in care of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. This morning, God bless you, Evangelist Nelly White, in the name of Jesus. Every one of their platform and their perspective place. Amen. Pastor Courtney and Pastor CN and in their mm -hmm. absence. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Good morning, mm -hmm. Push International family. Thank God for allowing me to be here. It's an honor and a privilege to come before God's people. They don't belong to us. They belong to God. Amen. We just serve to a servant to serve one another. Amen. I'm not going to be before you long. I have to be to my ministry at 10 o'clock this morning. Amen. But the word going to come forth. I have the Lord lead me. That's where we're going. Amen. And the Holy Ghost yeah. said, right along with the Holy Ghost. Amen. So we tell God, thank you. Amen. To all my sisters. Amen. And brothers, if any brothers on the platform, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Get ready to go into the word. Finding yeah. the hidden treasures of the kingdom of God. And before we do that, Amen. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. Then we're gonna do a prayer. Then we're going into the word. Amen. We all asking God to do something for us. We need. We seeking directions and we are seeking the hidden things, the hidden treasures of God as well. So we, in order for us to do that, we need some guidance. We need some directions from the Lord. That wherever He leads us, we will follow. Amen. And we will be obedient to His word. As it come forth, amen. Lead me, oh, guide me along the way. Lord, if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, oh Lord, lead me. I want you to lead me. Guide me along the way, Lord. If you leave me, I cannot stray, Lord. Let me walk. Each day with thee, lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I heard Evangelist Nelly say, we have not because we ask not. Some ask amiss. But when you're asking God to do something for you on this journey, we need to Lord to lead us, to guide us. If he lead us, then we can hear. If we lead us, we can walk right. <clears throat> if he lead us, we can talk right. If he lead us, we can live right. But realizing heaven belongs to you. <clears throat> we tell God, thank you, excuse me. Heaven belongs to him. That's one of the hidden treasures of the kingdom of God when we asking God to do something for us. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. Can you open your mics this morning and give God a praise? Because we ask him to Lord to lead us. Thank God. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, Hallelujah! See, that's personal. God, God, Jesus. God, we need Him. Come on, come on. Oh, Lord, if you See, this person, this walk is personal. Hallelujah. Let me walk. Hey. Amen. Amen, Lord. Amen. Oh Lord, lead. See, we gotta ask God to lead us. Hallelujah. We got to seek the Lord, white man. I'm a part of white man. I tell God they can lead me. God, yes, I got alone. No way. If you leave. Me, I cannot stray. Yes, Lord, I need you, Jesus. Lord, let me walk. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, God, it's personal. Mm -hmm. Lord, let me walk. See, that's personal. You got to ask God to let you walk. Lord, let me walk. Hey, each day with thee. Me, oh, lead. a mighty good leader. a mighty good lead you to the path of righteousness. Jesus. If you let it lead you, oh, God, Jesus. Lord, let me walk. Hallelujah. We tell God thank you. We give him the glory. We give him the honor. We tell him thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you for what you're yet doing right now, God. And we tell God thank you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We come before you right now, God. The God of all gods, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the great I am right now, God. Lord God, we ask you to bless right now, God, in the name of Jesus. As your word come forth right now, Jesus, because your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light on our path right now, God. We ask you, God, to lead and guide us, to go before us right now, God, seeking you for direction right now, God, in the way we should go. Teach us what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, my strength, yes, I got my redeemer right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, anoint these lips to clay right now, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you say in your word, open my mouth, you will speak for me, God. Be my mouthpiece right now, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I know you're able right now, God. In the name is your word coming forth right now, God. It's the word that brought us here. God's holy word. It brought a word, brought us here. God's holy word brought us into this place right now, God. We thank you right now, God. Bless everyone on this platform. Name by name, one by one, God. Move on the altar of their hearts right now, God. Open their heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. They receive what the Lord has to say right now, God. Even me, 
right now, God, I'm not exempt right now, God. When it comes to your word, God, realize we are the first partakers of your word as it comes forth, God. Continue to bless, God, in the name of Jesus, you go before us. Right now, on this journey, right now, God, strength to stand, strength to go through, strength for the journey, God. You say you'll never leave us, you'll never forsake us. You're the God of all gods, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You still performing miracles. You are promise keepers, because in the favor of the Lord, we'll locate us. He knows where we live. In the name of Jesus, he knows his name by name. And one by one, he knows we stand in need of before we even ask. Bless right now, God. We ask you to do it for us, God. Reveal unto us, God. The hidden treasures of the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. A heart for the kingdom. A heart for your people. Water back in the house of God. Because our body is the temple of the living God. These are blessed and acts in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we do pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Open up your mics and give God a praise this morning. Amen. He woke me up this morning. Amen. Now to see another day. Hey, we, got, we, got we tell God thank you. Oh, the blood running woman, having an active use of our limbs. Somebody didn't get up this morning. We got a mouth to praise. We got a right uh, to give God the glory. We got a right to give Him the praise. We got a right to worship Him. You say they don't worship you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. It's a Jesus in me. Love the Jesus in you. It's so easy. It's so easy to give God a praise. It's easy to give him the worship. It's easy to give him the glory. It's easy to give him to honor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you right now, God. It's your love. It's your love that lifted us. It's your love. Hallelujah, Jesus, that lifted us. Amen. So we tell God, thank you. And we appreciate the Lord today. Amen. Finding the hidden treasures of the kingdom of God. Amen. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 2. Oh, God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Proverbs chapter 2. Hallelujah, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 2. Amen. God bless everyone on this platform. Amen. Sister Chamber, Sister Norma Lee, Sister Melissa. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sister Colleen, God bless you, love. Uh, Sister, Sister Jason, amen. Sister Antoinette, in the name of Jesus, push international amen. as a whole. Amen. Sister Karen and Sister Faith. A hey, sister faith, amen. God bless everyone, amen. And those that's not on the platform, amen. Bless Mother Avis and Sister Corinne, amen. We tell God, thank you, hallelujah, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 2, beginning at verse number 1. And the word of the Lord said, My son, we are the sons of God, amen. We are the sons of God, my son. If thou will receive my words. And hide my commandments with thee. You got to have a spiritual receptivity in order to receive God's word. You got to have a teachable spirit to receive God's word. And when we receive God's word, we begin to line up with the word of God and do what God calls for us to do on this journey. Your journey might be different from mine, but guess what? We all got a journey. Guess what? That's where we can find the hidden treasures of God. He'll reveal it, but we got to receive his word and hide my commandments with thee. So we got to have the law in our hearts that the word said the word that we have hidden in our heart that we might not sin against him. This is seeking God for his word and for the treasures of the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. That's what it's all about. It's all about the kingdom of God. Verse 2 says, so that thou incline thine ear he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit has to say. Then climb thy ear unto what? Wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom. And apply thy heart to what? Understanding. The word saying all thy getting. Get an understanding of God's word. When we hear what God is saying to us, he's speaking in this season. We got to be attentive to know his voice. We can't let our voice override God's voice. We let our voice override God, then we'll miss what He is saying to us in this season. So, in verse 1 and 2, turns with me to Psalms 119. And I'll be going to verse 11. Amen. We're still talking about hearing God's word, we're still talking about getting to understand what the will of God is. For our life and our divine purpose that God has a purpose for us all. And we still in God's holy plan. 
We might not feel like we're in this plan because of the way things may be going in our lives, but remember, we're still in God's holy plan. Psalms 119 and verse 11 says, the word, talking about the word of God, the word have I hid in my heart. We got to govern God's word because his word is precious. That I have hid in my heart, he said, that I might not sin against thee. And one thing I love about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is a keeper and it's a teacher. But how bad do you want to be kept? Sometimes we let the flesh override the spirit man. But that's why he said that I might not sin against thee. We might not sin against God's word. We might not go against the will of God for our lives. Is, the, is it easy? No. Is the world going to be hunkered door because we saved and we got on this inside? No. Nobody told us the road would be easy, but I don't believe he bought us this for the leavers. He said, you've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed. We are the seed, like I said from the beginning, my son. We are the sons of God. And in this season, he is revealing a lot of things to us. It's when you got that personal relationship, and you got that connection, and you searching the word, and you seeking God's face. This is a generation that's seeking God's face. When you seek the face of God, you seek the will of God, he will reveal he will reveal, he will reveal, guess what? The hidden treasures of what? The kingdom. As we strive to make heaven our home every day. So he said that we might not see. He knew we was born in sin, shaping into iniquity. That's why I have asked God to create in me a clean heart of God and renew the right spirit within me. It's personal. That's why I was telling that song this morning, lead me and guide me. Lord, if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day, each day. It's a journey. Hallelujah, Jesus. Must Jesus better cross along and all the world go free? There's a cross for everyone. There's a cross. We got to bear our cross. And it get heavy sometimes. It get hot sometimes. But we begin to seek God's word. And what his word said. This, Lord, we begin to trust God with his word. He said he won't put no more than we can bear. As long as we're going through, as long as we're going through with God. If he brought us to this, he will bring us through this. And your test and your faith is on trial. Every test, what we go through, is a testimony at the end. Amen. And that test, not for you. It's for you to help somebody along. When he bring you through your test, and he bring you through your trial, when you're going to run into somebody, it was going through the same thing you want. They may be a little different, but on the same little path. And you can be able to tell them, look what the Lord has done for me. And that same God that did it for me, he'll mm -hmm. do it for you. The world said, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and, and forevermore. Amen. You serve a God that what changes not. He don't change. He changes for the better. Because we're supposed to be moving from glory, yes, sir, God, to glory. Come on, to glory. That's where the elevation comes. And the more you draw closer to the best, the more he reveal to you the hidden treasures, things that the world cannot see. He said, I reveal my secret to, to my servant. He will reveal it to you. Amen. That's why he wants us to. Don't forget this. He said, receive it. Be receptive. Receive God's word. See what he's saying to you, me, and everyone on this platform. Receive it. Verse um, 3 says, Yay. He said, Yay. If thou cries after knowledge, now we seek a knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and lifted up what thy voice for what? Understanding. Now we're praying for God. Now we're seeking the one that can do it. We can seek the one that can open up the blinded eyes. We can seek the, seek the one that can hear the deaf ear, open up the deaf ears, and the dumb to speak, the lame to cripple to walk. He can turn things around. He's a miracle worker, God. It's only when you seek him. Hallelujah. That's what his words say. Yeah, if thou cry, you crying out to God. We, sometimes we cry out to man. You got to be careful who you cry out to and who you vent to. Everybody don't be for you. So be careful getting wise counseling. Because wisdom is the principal thing. That cries after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for what? For understanding. So let's see what Isaiah chapter 50, Isaiah 55 and verse 6 says about, about crying out. In verse 3. Amen. Isaiah 55. Yeah. Turn with me to Isaiah 55. Isaiah. Amen. 
Lord. Isaiah 55. And let's see what verse 6 says. He says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And he said, Call upon him while what? he is what? Near. Yeah, praise God. Near. Because the prayers go from the prayers of the righteous of Bella Mother. The prayers could turn this world around. The prayer could turn your situation around. The prayer could shake up your household and break everyone in there on the subject of the hands of Almighty God. Whatsoever you bind on earth, we bind in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth, it'll be loose in heaven. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your children, whether it's your husband, loose him. We bind that spirit that's not of you. We bind the disrespect for these children. Some of them talk about it's disrespectful. And they know that God is working in you. They don't even honor and respect God. But you can ask God to break in their house on the subjects of the hands of Almighty God. We plead the blood because the blood still works. You will not act and you will not talk. You will not use profanity in my house. You're going to use it. Use it in the streets. Oh, You're going to be disrespectful. Be disrespectful, but not unto me. Because as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. You ask God to bring them, pull down them strongholds. <clears throat> Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he may be. We can go to the throne of grace for ourselves. We don't have to go behind the wall. Like some people that do in the capture. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. No, he rent the veil from top to bottom. Glory to God. We can go before the throne of grace for ourselves. He will take us behind the veil. The more we seek him, he'll give you the hidden treasures. He'll take you behind the veil. Yes, he will. With the anointing. Hallelujah. Rest root in the back. Then his Holy Spirit will have the right of the way in our lives. Hallelujah, Jesus. That we can see the hidden treasures of God if we just seek him. He says, seek him. We're in a generation, we, we got to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him, Paul. Because we need him. Oh, how we need him every hour. We need him. Because it's in him we live. It's in him we move. It's in him we have our being. We are nothing without him. So we are filthy rag in his sight. Filthy rag. We dust. We came from the dust. Dust we shall return. Seeking. Seeking God. Seeking. That's what verse 3 say. Cry out to God. Cry out. Sometimes in this journey we're going to have to cry. Cry for our loved ones. Cry out for ourselves. Oh Lord, bless me. Oh, Lord, forgive me. When we've fallen short of making mistakes. We serve a forgiving God. That's why he said the word I have here in my heart that I might not. He already knew we was going to see. He already knew. But I thank God for being God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He's a good God. That's why I say he's a mighty good leader. If you let him lead you, he's a mighty good leader. We just got to hear what he's speaking as we seek him even the more. Amen. And verse 4 said, if thou seeketh her as silver. Now you certain not the hidden treasure. We talking about the treasures of the world as silver. But we got to go at him like we seeking that gold. Like we got to go at him like we seeking that, that, that silver and that gold. Like we looking for a hidden treasure. Like these ski dives, they go down. They trying to find all, all the hidden things, hidden treasures where pirates may have dropped stuff in the water and treasure and the gold and the silver for way back when. Oh God, we just seek him and we go deeper in God. He'll reveal some things to you. He'll lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Everything we do, it's all about the kingdom. It's the kingdom of the kingdom. That's what we need. Because without him, we are nothing. If thou seeketh her as silver and searches for her as for what? Hidden treasures, for the hidden treasures. Things that are hidden. He will reveal the things that we couldn't see before. He'll remove the scales off our eyes. We can see more clearly. And we can hear more clearly. We just got to know his voice when he's what speaking. He's speaking in this season. He said that in treasures for as for hidden treasures. We got to seek him. We going to God for something. We know we need this to get where God trying to take us. We know we're going to need his word. We know he's going to need to reveal us the hidden thing. That's why we got to ask God to give us more spirit of discernment. Stir up the gift. Stir up the gift like Paul. Stir it up. Ask God. More wisdom, not to understand. Get more your spirit of discernment. So when they come up against you, can see that thing. You can see that spirit before it even get to you. He'll let you right. He'll let you recognize a, a fall off. I know that ain't none of my child right there. That's that spirit you don't pick up. Whoever they've been around, spirits do travel. They travel. Be careful who you let latch on to you. Be careful who you let lay hands on. The word says, "Suddenly lay your hand on no man." Hallelujah, Jesus. Except God bid you. He gifted you in that area. 
He'll tell you, certainly your man don't know back. Let's we hear the spirit of God. Let's we hear his word. Let's we hear what he's saying. Verse 4, amen, as we just read. If thou seekest her as silver, how bad do you want? How bad are we seeking him? It's, he said, he give us promise. It's promises to the seekers. We seeking God. He got a promise for us. It's that hidden thing he's going to reveal. Spiritual, physical, wellness, financial. He's going to give it to us. We seek it. And searches. For as heard for hidden treasures. In Proverbs 4 and 7. And the word of the Lord said. Wisdom is the principal thing. This is what we need. The main thing we need is the wisdom of God. This is the principal thing. Therefore, he said, what? Get what? Wisdom. And with all thy getting, get what? Uh, understanding. When we seek God for wisdom, he'll open up our, he'll open up our understanding. He'll, he'll cleanse that heart when it once was darkened and heavy and hurt. He'll remove it. He'll give you strength to get past that. The wounded and the broken heart, he can restore back unto him. Some things that allow, we may have dropped the ball or something a lot because of people who came into our life that tried to destroy, but no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we feel we can't get up again. Where are you, Lord? Where are you? He's here. He's nearer than he ever been before. Is we just what? Wisdom is what? The principal thing. Therefore, what? Get wisdom. Wisdom is the word of God. Knowledge, knowing who you are and the knowledge of God, knowing what his words say. And he said, with all that getting what? Get understanding. That's why we have to study the word. That's why we have to search the word. You can't work without no tools. How can I quote here and I didn't study? The word first got to come from me. You can't work without no tools. You got to get you some equipment, a Bible dictionary. Come on, sometimes you got to get the message Bible, the NLT, the NIV. But sometimes we have people that be on this platform, sometimes they don't understand the way of the King James Version. But that's why God gave us the understanding that we can break it down. And that's the wisdom from God. I, he, I, he gave it to me. I didn't have this. It don't belong to me. It belongs to God. The way God used me to bring forth the word, it's according to his word in that relationship. So everybody on this place, he said, bring it. Then even maybe a baby or a child will be able to understand his word, what he is saying to us in this season. He wants us to just get our houses in order. Get right with God so we can walk right. We can talk. We can let our light shine before many may see our good works and what glorify our Father, which is in heaven. Is your light shining? Can they see the hidden trick? Oh, God, look what you've done to her. I remember she used to be nasty. I remember she used to cuss, cuss like a sailor. I mean, she used to drink and be walking down the street, urine on herself, cussing. I remember she was whole mother. I remember she was on the cover. I remember this was on the down low. This was on the up low. This was on the up. This was on the low. I remember this was strung out on drugs. But look what the Lord has done. He's able to turn their life around. That's the hidden trait. Go, well, guess what? We seeking him. We crying out to God. Whether it's for ourselves, our husband, our wife, our children, graduates, neighbor, co-worker, people, even in the ministry, even the leaders in God, in the house of God, even in the governmental realm. That's why I got to Lord the leaders. We can't, we can't go out on it. We can't do this by ourselves. We need the Lord every day of our life. And we got to learn to be what? Grateful. Grateful. Verse 5 says, going in the word, verse 5 says, Then thou shalt understand what? The fear of the Lord. And find what? The knowledge of God. Now we seek in wisdom. We begin to more look. Learn more of him. He began to reveal his word. He began to open that word like a flower in bloom. Because when I read the word, I lay hands in the word. I say, Lord, open up your word. Reveal your word to me. That when I read or when I study, let, just let me picture myself there in that time, whatever going on. Open up your word like a flower in bloom. Let it blossom in my life. For I could what grow. If I could learn what the hidden treasures of God. And he'll reveal it to you. How do you think we get them? The prophesied to tell people what does say the Lord. It's the wisdom. It's the hidden traces of God. He'll reveal that secret thing to you. He said, I reveal my secret unto what? My servants. We are servants of God. We seeking God for directions. Oh God, I may have messed up last night. Lord, I may have did something or said something. I may have said something wrong. Glory of God, forgive me. God, my thoughts in my heart. I may have thought something wrong. Get my, change my stinking thinking. 
The word said, be ye transformed by the renewing of what? Your mind. Change your mind setting. Change it. And then God can fix that heart. Oh, she hurt me five years ago. She hurt me five minutes ago. Forgive. Teach us how to forgive. It's not for that person. It's for you. So you can move forward and do what God calling you. Don't let your prayers be hindered. Don't get blinded that you can't see the hidden treasure what God is doing in this season. It's all about the kingdom. God wants to see what's going on, what's coming our way. He'll let you know things before it even happens. He will prepare you for what's going to happen. He will reveal it. You can be sleeping sometimes. You wake up. I hear you, Lord. What you want me to do? Pray for about that. He may have showed you an accident or something. He may have something happen to somebody. He may have showed you something that's happened in the world. And he may show you something that happened in the kingdom. He will show it to you. That's that close relationship. They're hidden things. Glory to God. He will reveal it. Glory to God. And I thank you right now, God. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you. Thou shalt. Then thou sh Then for then. Then shall thou understand what? The fear of the Lord. Then you'll be scared to it. He didn't give the spirit of fear, but a power love of a sound mind. But we don't want to go against God and bring shame to his name. That's when the fear becomes. The beginning of wisdom is the fear. The fear of God. That is the beginning of wisdom. No, I can't do that. No, I used to drink. I used to smoke. I used to steal. I made, used to do this. I may was a homework. I well, may was a daughter. I mess with somebody else's husband all the time. I knew I was wrong. But guess what? The fear of God got me. I'm so scared to do that. I could go out there and commit fornication or adultery. I'd be so scared I'd drop drunk. Me, I'd be scared I'd, I'd drop dead in my tracks. Be like Sapphire and I now. Why lie unto me? You lie unto the Holy Ghost. So that's when that fear come in. We begin to fear the Lord and find the knowledge of God. And that's Proverbs. Go to Proverbs 3. It's in the same Proverbs 3 and chapter 13. Chapter th Proverbs 3, verse 13. And when God begins, we see we get happy on this journey. Proverbs 3 and 13 says, Happy is the man that findeth what? Wisdom. And the man that what? Gives what? Understanding. We're supposed to get excited what God is doing in our life. If God had bought me off the street and I was a prostitute, I'm homeless because I choose to be homeless because I don't. I would take my money doing drugs and everything else that I want to do or trying to please this man, left my children behind, I left them with mama or let alone left them home because I'm chasing after man, I'm chasing after the drink, I'm chasing after this job, I'm chasing after this money. I'm chasing because I want to do me. But when God bring about a change in your life, and he begin to feel, this is what you're going to need, daughter. This is what you're going to need. So you're going to need this on this journey, especially when he'll call you. Men will call, but few are chosen. Don't miss out what God has for you. If you tell us about what God do, oh, I don't believe you. They ain't supposed to believe you. He didn't tell them. He told you. You hold fast to what God has told you. You hold fast to what God has revealed to you in your life. You hold fast to it. Man don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. Man didn't make you. They may try to break you. But they didn't make it. They might try to destroy you. But he'll say he'll make it head, not a tail above and not beneath. We got to hold fast to what God is saying. You see, he said, happy is the man that what findeth what wisdom. Now we know what God's word is saying to us. And the man that what get it for understanding. That's why I thank God when, when I hear Sister Antoinette praying, I say, Lord, I thank you. I said, Lord, June will be a year I'll be on this platform. And I thank God for Pastor Courtney and Pastor C.N. Thank God for Evangelist Nelly White. I thank God for him. You allow me to be a part of PUSH, International Minister, on this platform. I'm grateful. Because when she first came in, I was like, Lord, look at God. And then I hear her pray and hear her talk now. I said, God, look at that. One water, one planet. But look at God. He gave her the increase. And she be going on about her business. Every time I hear a prayer, I said, Lord, now get off a workout. Jump on on my phone. And I said, Lord, look at Sister Antoinette. I thank God. Guess what? She's finding the hidden treasure of the kingdom of God. And then she happy. Happy is he. Happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that gets understanding. We don't know it all. This that we know, God gave it to us. He gave it to us. In parts. He said we know in parts. We see in parts. We even prophesize in parts. That's what his words say. 
Amen. Verse 6. For the Lord, look, giveth wisdom out of what? His mouth. From the mouth of God is the Lord. For the Lord giveth wisdom. He gave it to us. Don't let man try to deter you and tear you down for what God has called you to do. Sometimes you may go to a minister and say, God called me to do that. Well, I don't know. Let me see about it. Well, Lord, you hold fast to what God told you. Because I say he revealed a secret to his servant. He'll give it to you. He said, write the vision. Make it plain. He'll give you. He'll give you plans for your business, your life, and how you want to do this for the ministry, or how you want to do this in your life to get where God trying to take you in the ministry. He said, make disciples and send them out. So when it's your turn, God knows you'll teach you how to carry yourself. He'll give you poor pick etiquette. He'll teach you sometimes we be in a ministry allowed to see stuff that we know ain't right. He'll tell you these words. Whenever I bless you to do this, that, and the third, that right there, I don't want you to do it. That's wrong and that's out of order in God. So we need not to compromise with the enemy. No longer compromise. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And the truth shall make you free. If it leads you, go tell that sister, brother, I don't care. Ezekiel said, don't be afraid of men of their faces. You tell them. For the Lord give the wisdom out of what? His mouth. It comes from God. And come on down to us. Hallelujah. Out of, the, out of his mouth cometh what? Knowledge and understanding. Knowledge, knowing. And we got to know who we are in this season. Knowing the word of God. Line upon line, precept upon precept. He said, don't add nothing to it. Don't take nothing away. We have to teach and preach the word the way God gave it to us for that lost soul or even to encourage one another, to pray for one another. Be that listening ear. If you listen to somebody while, they, while you listen, praying to God to give them peace. They may come to y'all heaven and earth. When they get through, the peace of God should be resting as that conversation and their voice change. Knowledge, what he say, and what? Understanding. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and 26. Ecclesiastes. So I like to turn my pages. I like to hear the pages flip to see what God is saying. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 26. That's going to go along with verse 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 26. And the word of the Lord say, For God, the same thing now that God said, He put the wisdom in your mouth. Let's go to this verse in 26. Ecclesiastes 2 and 26. For God give it to a man that is what? Good. In what? His sight. Wisdom. So you have the big G-O-O-D. You take away that doing good for God. You take away one of them O's. You got God in it. In his what? Sight. Wisdom. And what? Knowledge. He's still pouring into us. So wisdom and now we need this every day of our lives. Because when the enemy come in like a foot, the spirit of the Lord say, lift up a standard against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. See, we'll start quoting those words. Because guess what? He pulled that wisdom to us. That's why the word we have hit in our heart that we might not sin against him. For God give it to man that is good in his what? In his sight. In his right. sight. We have to please God. We ain't trying to please man. We ain't chasing after no dog. We ain't chasing after prophecy. We ain't riding after our gift. Because first of all, the gift don't belong to you. The gift belongs to God. And if you got a gift, he said he had no respect for the person. You got a gift. The gift got the the gift must line up with the giver, which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So gift come without repentance. Some people riding off a gift and don't know God. But the gift got to line up with the giver, which is God. In his, in his sight and knowledge. And look what he said. And, and he'll give you some joy. Oh, yes, happiness come. That's why I say happy is the man. Right now, God, that final wisdom and joy. But look what he said. But to the sinner, he give what? Travail. Yeah. Make our road a little smooth. Yes, he does. He said make the rough places, quicker places straight, and the rough places where he'll make it what? Smooth. But those who be out there, the yeah. sinner, he what? He give it what? Travail. To gather and to heap up. That he may give to him that is what? Good before who? God. This is also vanity. And vexation of the what? The spirit. 
When we begin to care about, oh, what we going to do or what I'm eating, whatever. He said, don't take no thought for the mind. Let the mind take thought of itself. But people in the world, they try to die, get rich or die trying. Well, I'm going to work because when I get, ooh, when I, when I sit down, ooh, when I do this, I ain't got to work on this job. I think I'm going to go on the street. I mean, I make more money slinging out there on the street, doing this and that. And then they doing 40 hours a week. I don't know now. You see, sometimes we get weak and weary and well doing. If God has bought you off the street and you get that job, it ain't paying, you be like, uh. But if God put you there, he said, I'll supply you every, every need, he'll supply. But sometimes we get weak and then we get caught up in the cares of this world. Nobody talk about this worldly care. That is it. Vanity and vexation of what? Of your spirit. And he said, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift is a gift. Man. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal. It's a gift coming. It's a promise. We begin to seek the key. We begin to seek the hidden treasures of God. He'll reveal. He'll reveal some stuff to us that the world don't even see, don't understand. It go by day by day. Don't understand nothing that's going on in the world. And God help us praying for the things of the world and not even the spiritual realm. And we praying for that person out there on that street. We praying for that person in our household that's not saved. We praying for that unsaved loved one. We praying for them. Whether husband, wife, or child. We pray that God restore. Because the word says, train up a child in the way they should go. When they get older, we're not in the pot. They can run, but they can't hide. The same God that brought us through. They brought us in. And in due time, we got to trust God's timing for our loved one and our children. That he going to do it. That he'll do it. But to the sinner, he gets your veil. They try to look around. This, this ain't enough. This ain't enough to do this. I, I don't know about this. I got to get this. I got, they got to get more, 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 more. Like the man building bigger bonds. Trying to get more, 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 more. Then when Jesus told him what? You go say that with your head. He walked away. No, I'm not finna do that. I work too hard to stack up my bond. I, I work too hard to stack up my money. I work too hard to put this in into my house. I work too hard to, to collect all my money. I, got, I work too hard for my phone. I work too hard for all my money. I work too hard. And don't give God no time. And thinking they got all the time in the world. But we're in the last days. Jesus soon will come to the Lord's hand, souls at stake. And we can just witness and, and just reach for that one somebody. That even the angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner be converted unto him. He married to the backslide. He could bring it forth. That's his word. And God's word will not return for it. Whatever he said he's going to do, it's going to accomplish. But we got to trust God on his journey. We got to keep the faith. And believe that he's the one of them that what diligently seek him. We seek him like never before. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Verse 7. And I'm in there. He led up sound wisdom, which is God's word. Sound wisdom. His holy word. Sound doctrine. He led up sound wisdom from the righteous. He said, for the righteous. You know the sun rain on the just as well as the unjust? We know that. We have to pray for those that, that's, go, that's walking in their own ways, in the blinded eyes. Have eyes but cannot see, have ears but can't hear. Hallelujah, Jesus. And a heart just hardened and darkened because they can't see their way. So we ask God to open up their eyes, God, reveal them, bring them through this, bring them out of this world. Because the world loves his own. On the street, they'll pass a bottle of wine. And they'll the drink, but they'll drink it and pass it. We will get it and say, they'll drink it and pass it. We'll get it and say, ooh, I'm over here. Her mouth being, his mouth being. If they could stick like that, what's wrong with the saints of God? He said, I reveal, finding the hidden, finding, this is in his word. Someone said he lived up sound wisdom for what? The righteous. He is a buckler. Oh God, yes, he will. He'll cover. He's a buckler to them that walk what? Fuck rightly. He's a buckler to them. Mm. He'll sustain you. He'll hold you. Yes, he will. In that same chapter, verse, uh, in chapter 7, in verse 2, verse, for verse 7, go down to verse number 21. In the same chapter, chapter 2 of Proverbs. And in that verse, he said, For the upright shall dwell in what? In the land. And the perfect shall what? Remain in it. That's a promise to the saints of God that walk upright before him. 
This is what God is doing for his people. He laid up the sound. This is the word. This is the hidden treasure. This is a hidden treasure. It's not your money. It's not your jewelry. It's not your gold. It's not your diamond. It's not your silver. We seek in God as the silver, which is a hidden treasure. The precious things of God, which is his word. The precious things of God, his anointing. The precious things of God is the Holy Ghost. That's who he is. That's who he should be in our lives. In my closing, let us continue to seek God. Psalms 24 and verse 4 and 5 and 6. Psalm 24. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his, his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Teacher, one, we live in one thing right now. We're on the platform. We get on. We somebody else. We walk it in the world. We don't change. We don't flip just that, just that quick. And we swear. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 I you sworn what he said deceitfully, being deceitful. Five say he shall receive the blessings from the Lord, but you gotta have a clean hand and a pure heart. He said he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of what? His salvation. And salvation is free. This is the blessing for God that he has for his people that's what? Walking up right. That's why I said that the Lord lead you. Lead me and guide me along this way. Lord, if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, oh God. Lead me. Lead me. In verse 6, this is, the, this is what God is calling for, for the kingdom. Verse 6 says, this is this is the generation of what? Of them that what? That seek him. We seek in God. We seek in his face. We seek in just a closer walk with you, Jesus. Crucify his flesh. Humble his way. Bring the flesh of the subjects of the head. From the crown of our head to the soul. We need him. Crucify his flesh. Daily. Daily. Crucify. Put the bits in our mouth and got the brat our tongue. We want to fly off and say something. He says, a folly unto a person that speak a word before you even hear. That's in Proverbs. We got to hear what the Spirit is saying. This is the generation of them that what? Seek him. That seek what? Seek that seek thy face. We seek in God's face. We seek in him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Salah. Hallelujah, Jesus. O Jacob. Israel. Jacob, to Israel. We are his people. We are the seekers of God. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he may be there. He's able to do exceeding but above all we can ask the thing. It's according to that power that working in us. We need him like never before. We are the sons of God. We are his sonship in the kingdom. It's not about us. It never will be about us. It's all about the kingdom. We are the servants of a most high God. We serve a great high priest forever after order Melchizedek. He is the great high priest of us. And we tell God, thank you. That he continue to reveal, reveal unto us, God, for your kingdom to live, to be able to tell somebody about Christ today. Hallelujah. That a soul will be said, put a smile on somebody's face. Put a smile on for you'll bring joy to somebody else. We can't walk right here and look at Bill like we certain alum. And we say we belong to God. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Let the weak say I'm started, but let the poor say what I'm rich. He may not have much in our bank, guess what he said, but he'll bring us into a wealthy place. And that place is in God, in the kingdom, for the hidden treasure. God, we thank you right now, God, for being God in our lives. We thank you for every door you open. Thank you when man tried to shut it. Thank you when you raise it up and man tried to pull us down. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We tell God thank you for his word, finding the, word, the hidden treasures. Hallelujah, Jesus. We tell God thank you. For your spirit of discernment, God, that we can see and hear what the Lord is saying in this season. We got to trust God's timing. Trust his timing. Whatever you're going through, maybe sitting in the body, trust his timing. Trust God healing. If God said it, that said, I believe it. He said, heal us the children's bread. Let's believe it. He said, serve the Lord. And, and, and Exodus 23 and 25 say this, and serve the Lord, your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And he said, I 
and thy and I will take sickness away from thee. He said, I'll take it away. Believe God for your healing. Whatever it is, whether AIDS, cancer, sugar, diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, old press, depressed, muscle skeletal disease, heart trouble, heart blockage, God is able. He can heal every organ in your body. Bring it on the subjection. Speak the word. Be in season, not a season. The hidden thing, believe God's word. If he gifted you, stir up the gift. Like Paul told Timothy. Remember those things for your grandmother and your mother. Stir it up. That when the enemy come in, hallelujah, we bind him at the feet of Jesus, which is the rest of the place. You can't send him back to the pits of hell. Ain't time for him to go back. But we can bind him at the feet of Jesus, which is the rest of the place. And he have his foot on his neck and got to get permission of God to get up and do something else. But only the strong survive. We're going to survive us. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Keep the faith. Trust God. He's working behind the scenes. Might not feel, you might not look what you're going through, but he's able to bring you through. He's able to do exceeding above, above all we can ask or think. It's according to that power that working in us. And I tell God, thank you. Finding the hidden treasures of the kingdom of God. He didn't say a man, the kingdom of what? God. And we tell God, thank you. But able us to do his will. Not our will, Lord. Let thine will be done. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. Let Jesus lead you along the way. And I tell God, thank you. Amen. I turn this back over to the hands of evangelists or whoever put to take over. I tell God, thank you for his word. Amen. Can we open up our mics and give God a praise for his word? We thank you. Give God a praise for his word. Thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. Being a servant right now, God. Just to tread out your word and to tread Hallelujah. out the corner. I tell him thank you. Hallelujah. And I give him the praise. I give him the glory. It's due unto him. Hallelujah. Now thank you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Evangelist and everything. And everyone on the platform. Love y'all to life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to have to leave in the next two minutes to get to my ministry. Amen. God bless you. Love everyone. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Graham. God bless, God bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you for bless you. the word this morning. Glory be to God. And I know everyone is getting ready to go to church. Thank you, God. You know, glory be to God. Yes, ma'am. I myself have an engagement this morning as well. So I just want to give God the glory for you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to be praying for you, God, Father, you. in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. this morning. I thank you for your daughter that Definitely. you have chosen this morning to bring the word um, to us this yes, morning. Jesus. I thank you, dear God, that you are God and there is none other than you. I thank you, Lord God, that uh, you anoint her afresh, oh God, to lead you, um, this service this morning. That everyone on this platform, Lord God, will be able to bring and gain something you, from Jesus. it this morning, oh God. Jesus, Father, I thank you, Lord yes, God, for Jesus. everyone on this platform. And I know, Lord God, everyone, most, thank if you, not Jesus. everyone, will be going to church, Lord God. But we ask you that everyone that goes to church, that they will take the blessings, oh yes, God, Lord. Yes, Lord. Out this morning. Yes, God. Father, I thank Jesus. you, Lord God. I thank you for this ministry. I thank you, Lord God, for what this has been yes, doing. Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Father, we thank you for the youth you, that Jesus. you have put on this platform. That Lord of mercy, Lord God, we thank yes, you God. for them because, oh, God, they are expanding their smart. Oh, God, they are ready to lead. I thank you for them, for your pouring yesterday and for all that yes, they had Jesus. learned yesterday. Mighty God, we thank you for them. Oh, God, we thank you, oh God, for everything that you have been doing, the blessing, the favor, the every, everything, Lord God. Oh, even to find your treasures, Lord God, as you have been leading us to the treasure, Lord God, that we will be able to find the treasures that we have in you. So, Father God, we thank you this morning. Thank you for everyone this morning, oh God. Thank you for Pastor Graham, Sister Lorna, Sister Faye, Sister J.K., Sister Carrie, Sister Melissa, Sister Nikki, oh God, Evangelist, Sister Beckford, and Sister and True Royalty. We thank you for everyone, myself, this morning, and those who have fell off, we thank you for them, that the word that appears us this morning, and that we will live by the word that you had sent to us. So, Father, we give you thanks, and we give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. Um, I'm going to ask to just pronounce the benediction because I know that you're getting ready to go. And I know that people, persons are here, are getting ready to go to church. And, um, you know, as you know, that our time is different here, almost 10 o'clock. So I'm going to ask you to give the benediction for us this morning, Pastor Graham, as before you go. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we give you the praise, we give you the glory and honor. We thank you right now, God. We magnify you, we lift you. We thank you right now, God, as you lead and guide us right now to our destination, God. We will give you the glory and honor and the praise, God. Continue to seek you for the hidden treasure. Bless right now, God. Continue to anoint us and appoint us. Lead us on this journey right now, God. Shield and protect us. Stir up the gift, God, that you placed on the inside, God. In the name of Jesus. Continue over thy eyes, we'll see more spiritual well as physically. Continue over our ears, we'll hear more spiritual well as physically. Oh, by mouth, we'll speak the oracles of God. Spiritually well as physical. God, our hearts and our thoughts. And God, our minds. Cover us with your blood. The blood still with the whole armor, God. The helmet of salvation. The breastplate of armor. Lord, gird about the truth. Feet sharp in the preparation of God. The shield of faith. Yes, sir, God. And the sword, which is your, your sword, which is your word. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do and what you're about to do. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who your power, who show anointing, like never before in our lives. In Jesus' name, and cover this platform right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we'll seek to come on this evening. Whatever your will, let your will be done. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, we do pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless, God bless you. you. And remember to pray for your pastors and your leaders in your church this morning as you go. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. And pray for... If you don't see someone in church, pray for them because sometimes we don't know what people are going through. So you pray for them and, you know, ask God blessings, you know, upon the house of the Lord. Amen. So you're going to turn over by the host evangelist so she can close us out as you go this morning. Go